Good morning, you guys. I gotta come up with a name for y'all. Like, what do y'all wanna be called? Squad? I don't know. But good morning. It is June 1st, Tuesday, June 1st. And I am back to myself. Thank God. The last time y'all saw me, I, I, look, I did not look like this. <laughs> I kept telling my mom and them that I look like a monster and I sounded so bad. But I got my life. I got it all together. I'm back. Mila is back. And it's morning. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm about to get ready to leave because I want to get to school early because I'm gonna leave early to go to work. So I'm gonna get there 30 minutes early. So I still get my time in. Um, but I wanted to show y'all I kept telling y'all I was going to show y'all how I make my Hawaii Starbucks drink. So I'm going to show y'all that this morning. So it's starting off a good vlog showing y'all some good gems, not just ranting and talking. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show y'all that. So these are literally all of the ingredients that you're gonna need. Just some ice, a cup with a straw, make sure you have a top, some soy milk or any type of milk. If you use um, almond milk or oat milk, whatever milk you want, I use soy and I get the vanilla. And then this is the main thing you need. Now, my DIY Starbucks drink, I love chai teas. Like, I'm obsessed with them. So, that is literally what I'm making. And I save so much money because this carton is like $339, $340. And this literally will last me like 10 days. Instead of paying 3 to $4 a day, you know how much money that saves? Like, I'm, I'm trying to put y'all on. So, I'm going to prop the camera up. And I'm going to show y'all how I make this drink. So first, you're just gonna, well first make sure your hands are clean, my hands are clean. You're just gonna um, get how many ice cubes, I normally do four, four or five. These are pretty big, so I'm gonna just do four, because it just depends on how much you want it watered down. Because it's gonna have milk in it too, so you don't might not want to water down all your coffee, or not even coffee, tea. So I'm gonna do one more. Finally, and it took a long time. So I got my ice, got four cookie cubes. Next, what I'm gonna do is pour the coffee or the tea. This is the classic chai latte. It says it has cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and vanilla. And of course, black tea. So what I do is I just shake it up. Pour it. All the way to fill the ice. And then I shake up my milk and fill it to the top. And then I stir. And that is literally my DIY Starbucks drink that literally costs basically a dollar a day instead of freaking three to four dollars, depending on what size you get. So you are welcome if you guys drink chai teas, iced chai teas from Starbucks. Try this and see if you like it. See if you like it somewhat the same, somewhat not. And you can always spruce it up at any type of uh, drizzle on the cup, caramel, whatever. Spruce it up how you want. You can even do this warm and do a froth. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. And I will see y'all when I get back. I ain't my, I ain't my party. So good morning, you guys. Yes, I can. Y'all seeing me in a different light. I'm driving, and I finally can make it to school without the GPS. Props to me. Props to me. You know that's a big win because I've been having it. Oh, the water is almost gone. It has not rained here, and that water is drying up. But yeah, that's a big props because. Literally, I've been having to put on the GPS for literally everywhere I go. Because <laughs> I just don't know everywhere, like, by heart. But now I know how to get to school, pretty much. Well, today's going to be the test. Yeah. That's why I'm glad I left a little early. I just tried to get my package because I had, like, three Amazon packages. But they don't open till 9. And then I'm supposed to be getting my medicine. But they don't open till 9. And I don't get off work till 9. So everything closed at, like, 5 and 7. I'm gonna have to just get it tomorrow. But anyways, you guys, I am back. 
I wanted to address last week's vlog. And first off, if you haven't watched last week's vlog, episode three, go watch that first. It's gonna be linked here. Just uh, click the description box. But um, I basically had a bad, bad allergic reaction to the SNS dip powder that I had, had one of the girls at school do on my nails. And my hands are better. They're not as swollen. They are still a little discolored. And then I do have this little rash here still, but it's not swollen. So everything isn't swollen. I'm no longer congested. As you see, my eyes aren't swollen. I'm back looking like myself. I'm back feeling like myself. I finally got my life because I literally, I literally was feeling miserable. And another thing I didn't get to tell y'all exactly really was that I, because I couldn't breathe out of my nose I couldn't smell and it took away my taste it was going in and out like when my nose was really really stuffy I could not like it was bad 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 I could not smell I could not taste I could not breathe out of my nose sometimes I couldn't breathe out of my mouth really late at night um so what I did actually um yesterday was Monday it was Memorial Day um I went and got a steroid shot my friend Jalen had called me, we was talking whatever, and she was uh, to basically telling me how her sister has the same issue and when she gets, the medicine doesn't work for her, because I was taking medicine since Wednesday. I was taking like seven different medicines for, and then it had nothing really to do with like the allergic reaction. It was basically trying to treat the symptoms, like ibuprofen, Sudafed, Mucinex, uh, start taking a daily allergy pill, Benadryl, all that medicine, nothing. It would make it better for like, once the medicine got in my system for like two hours, but then right when it was getting out of my system, it would go right back. So anyway, she basically said her sister takes a steroid shot and immediately like when the medicine don't work for her and immediately she starts feeling better. So I went up there and basically told him, give me a steroid shot. <laughs> and they did. And then he ordered um, me some more steroid, oral steroids to take for a couple weeks um, to help finish clearing it off. Um, but yeah. That that was just terrible. It, as you saw, ended the week with so much energy and just so enthusiastic about school, about work, about just being busy again and having my life. And then by the end of the life, I'm like, I mean, by the end of the week, I'm like, what the hell happened? Where did my life go? So yeah, that's that. I'm just so thankful to God. Like when it finally, like yesterday, um, after I got steroid shot, not even an hour later everything started like my smells and I could smell out my nose I could breathe out my nose my congestion went away I do still have to blow my nose like it do still feel like I have like a slight cold or not a cold but um it's like allergies you know like when you sneeze and then you still have to blow your nose I still have that slightly but I swear I thank God all day yesterday like y'all do not take your sense of smell and taste for granted because I'm telling you especially when you feel good like it's different when you're sick like if you have COVID and that went away you're sick like you're miserable you don't even want to move hardly but I feel good and I'm like trying to go out to eat and trying to you know live my life and it just was so miserable and I know it wasn't that long but it was for five days and it was just so unexpected and so unnecessary so needless to say I am never putting any dip or acrylic on my hands again ever which I didn't know that dip would do it I know I told y'all about the allergic reaction I had six weeks ago before I even moved here but literally that was acrylic and I thought it was the monomer but apparently it's the powders because what y'all might not know if you get dip powder you think oh it's better than acrylic it's not acrylic it's the same powders but the way it's applied is different and I thought that I knew that and I'm like okay so if I don't use monomer I should be fine nope it's the powders it's the powder so I can only do polish and I found good thing is I uh, did my research I found a good brand Jelen nail polish is a UK brand and they are basically I'm not gonna say natural because what type of product that has chemicals is natural that's not that that's not how that works <laughs> but it's one of the most natural brands out there um, the UK bans 3,000 ingredients that the US doesn't and so that should definitely be fine on my nails and should work so my, one of my first paychecks I'm gonna order that and start working on that with my hands like my hands but right now I'm just working on other people's hands with other stuff my little um, fingers that y'all showed y'all and I finally I will show y'all later on probably tonight 
I found a way to make that hand work. I told y'all that the nails couldn't fit on it. It wasn't gonna work. I looked, did some research, whatever, and I ended up putting putty on the nails. And so I, I'm gonna try that and work with it because it does stick that way because it is silicone. So it does stick that way better than with the glue. But yeah, y'all, this is another week. It is June 1st. Make sure you're manifesting your life. Make sure this is the start of a new month. Erase last month, erase yesterday erase everything we're starting over make sure you're manifesting great thoughts great things is coming into your life new doors are opening whatever it is in your mind that you're thinking that you want you will get and you're going to receive just believe in god make sure you're praying and asking him for his guidance and i'm telling you it's going to come through i'm telling you so it's june 1st we are on our manifestation and just all positive vibes y'all let's keep the levels up i know towards the end of last week i was like trendling and i really was not about to get on get on camera i really was not and i almost didn't post the vlog but something in me is just like if i'm gonna do it i need to go like i'm one of the people it's either zero or 100 so if i wasn't gonna do it i should have never started the vlog series i should have just kept doing my beauty content just popped up down here you know what i'm saying but because I did that. I need to do it the right way and be transparent with y'all. And the thing about it is life isn't going to be perfect. We all know. Hell, you know that probably by the age of like 10. You know what I'm saying? Things don't work out the way you want it to work out. So I had that little hiccup, that little bump in the road, but it's a learning lesson. I know something now about my body, about my skin. Um, and you have to take that and move on. So that's what we're going to do. And this week I'm working like four days, basically today tuesday wednesday friday and saturday and then of course i got school all week and so my only off day is monday again next monday do i work sunday i think i work sunday too i have to check the calendar i think i work sunday as well because my only off day is monday yeah so i do work sunday too so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna be posting this vlog monday and i'm yeah this week is gonna be a great week got work in school i do want to go out somewhere either friday or saturday after work um go do something get out again because this past weekend with how i was feeling and looking i wanted to go to the beach yesterday my mom's like that's not a good idea with how my skin is and how it's healing and all that so i need i want to get back to enjoying the city getting out and everything so hopefully by the end of this week i get to go to um i get to go out to the hookah maybe do a hookah bar or just a bar i might go to seventh and grove because a lot of people talk about that i'm gonna go to one of them places and just chill out i might not do any hookah though i might just go to the bar and like get a little drink and listen because my mom was saying with everything that's going on i should probably give it a good full week so that means not till next week to try to smoke and do hookah and i'm just trying to be cautious y'all like honestly it's just better to be safe than sorry i don't want to have myself feeling like that and be back like that so i probably won't do hookah but i i do want to just get out a little bit i don't know i'm gonna ask some of the girls at work friday and saturday like what y'all doing where we going <laughs> folks probably think that i'm crazy but and some of the girls in school they were like really nice it was like you know of course everybody you know asking everything you tell your backstory and stuff and i'm like you're here by yourself i'm like yeah i don't know anybody i don't have any friends she like her name is jasmine she's like girl we friends you could be my friend so i had rolled with them with the field trip last week and everything um so you know you know how it is when you're going to school and you go to work it's easier to meet people and make friends than if i was just moving down here and not necessarily going to school or not going to a uh, location of work like if i was just working from home then yeah it probably would be harder you know so i am thankful for that but yeah that's all i have to tell y'all this morning y'all have a great day i will see y'all maybe tonight to show y'all the work that i did from school if i don't see y'all tonight I will of course see y'all in the morning because mornings is just so much easier for me to get on camera once I'm ready and stuff, especially now that I don't have to use the GPS and I can talk to y'all while I'm driving, which y'all don't come for me. I am, you see my eyes are on the road. I'm barely even looking at y'all. So it's not a distraction or anything. 
But yeah, I am going to get off here because I'm getting on the interstate now. And I will talk to y'all later. All right. Peace out. Good morning, you guys. I got y'all literally sitting on my little medicine cabinet thing. Hold on. It is Tuesday, June 2nd. And I literally just woke up at like 7.58. My alarm was supposed to go off at 6.45. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I turned it off in my sleep. I gotta look at it and see if it's even set right to begin with. But yeah, the situation right now, this is the first time since I've been here, I got a rush. Cause I wanted to get there a couple minutes, 30 minutes early, because I gotta leave basically 30 minutes early to get to work. But, um, Okay, if I don't get there 30 minutes early, I'll just um basically make it up tomorrow because I don't have work tomorrow and stay a little later. I just check my time on the computer, see where I'm at, how much longer I gotta stay. That might be good because last week I stayed somewhat longer. But yeah, I'm just getting ready not getting ready fast enough honestly i was trying to find a good spot to put y'all but obviously i didn't do good with that what i'm putting here on my face is this aloe vera and vitamin e oil that i mixed together and made um, Sunday, Monday, sorry. And this is to help this little scar that I have left over from when my eyes was puffy. And it's working on the uh, left side really good. Ooh, I might put too much. It's working on the left side like really, really good. All right, no, the right side. But um, the left side, it looks like it's gonna take a couple weeks. I feel fine waking up. My nose is just a little stopped up. But I'm actually leaving school a little early. Y'all see how old I am for that vitamin E. I'm actually leaving school a little early today. Um, well, I told y'all for work, but I gotta leave. Uh, basically, take a early lunch and go get my prescription. So they gave me a steroid shot Monday, but he wants me to take some more steroids to help it get out my system, basically. Oh. Okay, y'all. I, I seriously got way too much vitamin E. So the end of it is absorbing, but let's put the rest maybe in my hair. So yeah, y'all, that's the gist this morning. I'm literally like, I did not get to get my two hours, extra two hours to just chill and whatnot. So I'll get to see a little bit of my morning routine in fast motion. Normally with my skin, I really take my time because I love doing my skin in the morning, morning and at night because I got a little more steps, some really good products, but not today. <laughs>
now I gotta set my edges and have them set in the car, basically. Cause the only way that they will lay down is if I set the, don't really know why. And my scarf looked like it was starting to come off. I was sleeping too good, dreaming something crazy. Like always, I'm always dreaming something crazy. I'm living in an alternate universe. These bad boys gonna have to sit in the car. Just remember to grab my scarf up to. Like I'll tell y'all, work again tonight till close. And Last night, I actually stayed, I went around riding on, basically on the street where I work. I'm not gonna tell y'all, cause some people might be watching me that actually live here. And for my safety, I don't wanna say any street names or no east or west type of directions, just for my safety. But that's what I have to do. I literally can't get the swoop right, but I gotta go. Um. I rode on the road where I work and was trying to find another job. And I saw some places like going home, saw a couple places I could work when I get out for work there. And then I went on Indeed and applied to a couple places because I want to work another job because Ulta actually closes um, at eight, nine and six, six on Sundays. So um, eight on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, anyways, I want, I need some more hours um, cause I'm only getting like four or five, which is fine because that's basically the only availability that I have for them. So yeah, I just need something else. One more, either like 10 to two, shoot up 12 to seven, I do that. Just for a little bit. I know y'all probably thinking, you gonna be tired, but girl. You young, you can do anything. I'm not saying when you old, you can't, but we bounce back quicker. Even with my hands and my face and stuff. I'm telling you, if an older person wants to get what I got, Lord have mercy. Or what I had, better yet. I'm putting on uh, sandals. Normally I wear tennis shoes. I'm putting on my Birkenstocks because we're doing pedicures. I actually didn't show y'all any of my nail stuff that I did because I didn't work on my hand yesterday. We did pedicures. So I actually did a pedicure on a girl. On one of the girls in class, duh. And is that everything I did? Yeah, so that's what we did yesterday. And that's what we're gonna, some of us are gonna continue working on today. Oh, damn it. I thought that was my boiled egg. What is it? That was a regular egg. Oh. So I just wasted a regular egg. Wow. This is what happens when you wake up late. Like, literally, this is what happens. I do this every once in a while, like the whole waking up ordeal. Do every once in a blue moon. I guess I was really tired. Cause my body normally just be waking up at like six, six thirty. So I'm just having a boiled egg and a rice cake with peanut butter. Rice cake with peanut butter for breakfast. All right, y'all, so I'm about to put all this stuff in the car. It's gonna take me a little minute. And I'm about to get my butt to school. Well, to class. Whatever you wanna call it, school, class. I hate not having nails anymore. I just need to keep this pepper open because I literally 
can't open it. I say that and then I just close it. All right, y'all. See y'all later on, either today or another day. Good morning, you guys. I'm back and it's a new me. It is Friday, June 4th. I always have to look at the clock and the time I said. It's 8.19. I'm actually, let me prop y'all up. I'm actually getting ready to head to class. Um, Look at this. So I'm back. I took my braids out yesterday and I had one of the guys from school. His name is Daytona. Hook me up. Look at this. Get into this cut really, really quick. If you can see it, I zoom in if you can't. But it's basically like a little heart. And then, of course, he did this side too. But, you know, I told him that I wear my hair on this side. And I just took my braids down. To me, it looks way more blonder. Like, I don't know if it was the Redken shampoo and conditioner that I used. Um, and I left a little mask on, like, not 10 minutes, but like 7 or 8 minutes. But it looks good like the blonde looks really good i thought that it would be looking more like orange because i have not had a color touch up since like last october um i think it was like october yeah um so i thought that the color would really look trash but it really looks bomb so i just diffused my hair basically so it's like big and um i don't really know why i diffused it because it's really humid out here but i just didn't want to have wet hair basically um going into class so it's big the curls are back girl and let me show y'all my lashes real quick i did my lashes last night and then this morning i had to add a few in but i did my lashes myself i think the sun is hitting oh get into this and then underneath my eye y'all know i'll tell y'all had that little mark you can see it a little bit like how the sun's hitting from um the little allergic reaction that i had last week so i've still been putting the aloe vera and the vitamin e on it and it looks really really good it is coming along i've been doing it all week and i've been putting the extra on my hands so my hands are healing pretty good as you see they're like peeling like snake skin but they're not open like last time so it's doing much much better Ooh, the garbage man still go that way because he probably gonna keep going straight if he doing the garbage on this street but yeah i haven't seen y'all basically all week this week i've not been a good blogger but i've just been going to school going to work i work tonight tomorrow and sunday monday is my off day from school and work so monday this vlog will be going up it won't be much at all actually unfortunately i did do a hand i did work on class on acrylic hand i'll show y'all that later maybe but um i think i'm gonna redo it and work some more today of course um, but yeah y'all this week has been pretty good basically thursday for me because tomorrow is my last day i don't know how to explain it but my weeks be off now that school starts on two everything starts on tuesday monday be like a sunday and it's just weird but i love the way my hair is turning out excuse this wrinkled shirt and all this ashiness on the shirt and all these things but i love that my curls is back and i'm gonna be rocking this just for a little bit probably for fourth of july i want to get one of the girls to maybe do me like a cute high pony and have him of course do the sides up again um that'd be like in a month i made my little diy starbucks drink and I added way more black tea, so that is strong. But I worked till 12 tonight, so I was like, instead of orange juice, let me make some coffee. And I'm just eating a rice cake with some peanut butter. Like I said in the last vlog, the girl's getting thick. And I don't know if it's happy weight. I mean, I really haven't been buying much groceries or eating out much, like anything different. I feel like I've been eating better than at home. Like I haven't been eating as much like bad fast food. Like I had Chinese last week was like a really nice Chinese place. It was really good. And I basically been, been eating all that all week. And then what else have I been eating? Egg drop soup. Uh, I had a spinach bacon wrap last night. It was supposed to be a BLT, but no tea because my tomato was frozen. Um, But yeah, I haven't really been eating like 
I would say much, so I don't know where the weight's coming from. Probably because, like I told y'all, I was supposed to tell y'all what happened with my bike last while. My bike freaking popped on me while I was riding around the RV park. So my sister and them are sending me a package with like a lot of the stuff that I ended up needing from home. And in that package is some of the tire replaceable uh, interludes. So hopefully I could fix it. Um, probably not today. Today I have a little break. I get out of class at 3.30. I don't go to work till 7. But I'm going to grab dinner. And I'm going to take the trash out. I'm going to check and see if the package is here. The package might be here. But I'm probably going to have to wait until Sunday to fix it. Yeah, Sunday morning. I do like it better with peanut butter than avocado because the salt and the avocado just don't do it for me these are salted ones I won't be buying these no more they're extra salty why are you going that fast uh ombre crazy ass I wish I could have showed y'all that he in this big big truck too this one don't like driving I can't wait till I can hire me a driver because I just can't do it too much anxiety. He literally coming up behind me like fast and then swerve over and this a truck, a freaking truck with a bed on it, like a trailer. Like what are you doing? Speed limit's only 50. Anyways. Yeah y'all, I'm on the way to class. I don't really have nothing much else to talk about. I hope y'all week has been fabulous so far. Yeah, the first couple months of <laughs> not the first couple months the first couple days of your month has been wonderful and it's gonna be much much more to come i'm just really feeling my hair like i love it uh I, I guess i could tell y'all a little bit because it's not like i'm showing y'all pictures or exactly what i'm gonna do but i want to go like by the end of the year or sometime next year it just depends when i can get to houston to let uh kayla do it but i want to go shorter like way shorter close to a pixie if not a pixie and platinum like i'm ready but i definitely gotta make sure i lose some weight i need to lose like i'm not gonna say 30 pounds because when i was 130 and 135 that was a little too skinny so maybe i just lose like 15 pounds once i get my bike back up and then once i get another job start making a little bit more money i can start doing i don't even know if i had time to do yoga classes i probably just need to start doing the yoga outside when i wake up that's probably just what i need to start doing incorporating that's probably what i start doing um just so i won't lose like because i'm losing muscle basically because you know well muscle does weigh more than fat but i am not toned as much as i used to be you can tell like not in a big difference, but you could just tell that I'm not like in the gym gym. And I don't want to look like I'm in the gym gym, but I do want to be told. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but um, yeah, I know what I need to do. And once I get like that, look basically back healthy tone, you know, um, then I want to, I think I'll be able to do the short look because I do not want to be like chubby any type of blubbery chubby with like short hair you gotta make sure you are fit girl and i don't like the gym anymore really i've over exhausted the gym and it's just boring as hell to me to just be in the building just working on machines i'd rather ride my bike do some yoga take a class dance hell i'd rather go out clubbing and dance and shake my ass all night than be up in the gym ooh, ooh, ooh. um I might find a little park and on my off days I might like go running but I, I like to ride my bike I'd rather just ride my bike so yeah I need to get my bike fixed because I love riding my little bike I can ride that for like an hour that's like a really good workout for me at least for my legs like I be wanting my legs and stuff to be toned like as long as my stomach is flat like I don't need abs I'm not going for that as long as my stomach is flat and toned and my legs are toned and that's when I'm losing my legs because I haven't been able to ride my bike in like a week. But I still been eating, you know, like I haven't cut off all carbs, you know. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk y'all to death about 
health and all that stuff. It is what it is. I'm just not as strict as I used to be. I realize life is a balance. And, you know, I just do what makes myself feel good while still being healthy and still, you know, trying to get at least 30 minutes a day in. But like I said, my bike been broke down, so I haven't been able to. So I got to get it fixed or I'm going to just have to start walking because I'm not going to just not do anything. That's just not in me to not do anything. <laughs> when I get to that point, Lord, I better just be eating strawberries and vegetables, fruit and vegetables, because you can't do that if you're eating carbs. You just cannot. <laughs> it's not going to work. But yeah, y'all, I love how everything is looking. It looks like I got this a little glow on, but that's literally just the vitamin E and Allie over there. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to get off here because I really don't need to be vlogging and driving. And I'm about to be hitting the interstate. It's 8.30. I got 30 minutes to get to class. I'll be trying to leave at like 8.15. I left at 8.20 today just in case it's like a little bit more traffic. Because that traffic on the interstate do not be playing. Like, It's not bad. It could be worse, but it is some traffic. It's not like Mississippi where you could just get anywhere at the exact time. You got a lot, like an extra five minutes in case a light is slow people are rubbernecking whatever the hell they be doing i don't know i hope y'all can hear me i feel like i'm talking kind of low. i don't know what is all on my shirt yeah y'all i'm about to get off here y'all have a blessed day i probably see y'all maybe i'll show y'all what i get in my package if i have my package later on maybe i'll show y'all my little dinner i'm eating maybe i won't <laughs> maybe i see y'all tomorrow because i do want to do my makeup and stuff because tomorrow i'm going to be working i think i work four to nine tomorrow yeah and i work two to seven sunday so yeah i i'm either gonna do i'm probably gonna do my makeup just some eye makeup tomorrow Ooh, i'm gonna wear my dress sunday because i don't go to work sunday. yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i'll probably just do my makeup sunday to y'all i'll show y'all sunday because i'm not gonna upload this to monday i'm sorry i'm like thinking out loud because i really have not been thinking about the vlog so i literally just turned on the camera and now i'm like trying to think things out but yeah i'll be back to show y'all my little package and what i'm eating before i go into work and then i will see y'all later deuce Good morning. It is June 6th, I believe. Sunday, June 6th, and it's morning. I'm looking a little glowy because I just got some vitamin E underneath my eyes. It's doing a lot better, you guys. I don't know if I told y'all, but from the reaction I had, um, it ended up getting on my face. And I actually mixed pure aloe vera, like from a leaf and vitamin E oil and I've been putting it on here and look at the redness is barely there. I'm gonna put a before picture, but the redness is like barely there. And it was like really red in both these areas. So it's working girl, plus my products, my skincare products. And y'all go watch my video if y'all don't know what I use on my skin, but I gotta get a good lighting. Uh, I'm coming to y'all cause I got my life together and I know I haven't been vlogging this week like at all, I like guess Sunday. I think the last time y'all saw me maybe was Wednesday or Tuesday. But I've just been busy at school, working, learning, working, working on my craft, trying to get better. Um, right now I'm just making some breakfast, so that's why I have to keep turning over here. Make sure I'm not burning nothing because I want it to be good. Yeah, that's right. Now that's off. So we're just gonna take this, we're just gonna unplug this actually. Just do just like that. Let me show y'all my breakfast real quick tell me that don't look good like that's about to be so good got my little bagels i toasted it a little bit you know having a little crunchy i'm gonna make a little sandwich and i got me some apple jelly i'm gonna put on the girls about to be busting and my orange juice but yeah basically i got my life together so i was like let me come on here and give these people an update of what's going on but you can see my cut really good right here i know i showed y'all the other day but you can see it really really good when it's up like this and my wash and go barely did not last those real geo products i use i don't know 
if it's just because I had just took my braids down or what, but um, yeah, I did not do my hair too much justice. So we're gonna try something new tomorrow. But yeah, I got my life together. So I figured out what I'm gonna do with this vlog and then what I'm gonna do. So normally I upload my vlogs on Mondays, which will be tomorrow. But instead, I'm going to be uploading my spa day routine that I had filmed last week and I didn't end up having a chance to upload last Sunday or Monday or anytime this week. So I'm gonna actually upload that. And since I don't have that much footage from this week, we're just gonna do a two week type of vlog and I'm gonna just continue to vlog on through the week and then post this the end of next week. Um, it's going pretty good. I mean, I don't mind vlogging. Um, just the busier I am, the harder it is to I pick up the camera even if i do remember it's like dang i'm busy i gotta get here i gotta do this so it's more of like just talking sometimes like when i'm busy and kind of just telling y'all what's going on and i like how my vlogs were before when i'm actually showing y'all what i'm doing and what's going on i like those type of vlogs better like i like to watch those personally and then i just like for my content to be like that just because i'm not i'm just not that hyped to be just sitting here talking to y'all and then not only that but i just don't really care to i don't know i just don't have that much to really i mean i have a lot to say but i don't want to be sitting here talking i don't know how to explain it but anyways actually yesterday yesterday was saturday i worked and i went to school of course and i actually got a facial and a back facial and my armpits wet so yesterday i got some services done girl for the free from uh, my girl Cynthia that I be doing her nails. So then she did my facials and stuff. And then Kita, the girl in my nail class, she uh, did my armpits and she was gonna wax my legs for me, but the hard wax wasn't ready, whatever, whatever. But I think you can tell a little bit about the facial. It went good. She used Dermalogica. That's pretty much all our school has. I can't wait to get to skin y'all. Like it was just so relaxing in there. The facial was just so relaxing. The back facial was relaxing. I, I had that done first thing in the morning and I was ready to leave. I'm like, it's time to take a nap. Like, it's just, y'all, it's something about just getting pampered. It just feels so good to the soul. But it felt so good. My skin does look good. Part of it is from the facial. And then, of course, I use really good products anyway. So, yeah. Um, that went really good. And then, of course, work went good. Work in school has been good all week. Um, I ordered my beauty suitcase last night thank god my state taxes hit finally three months later but we're not gonna speak on the negative god bless me and i was able because i've been carrying around this box and this bag let me show y'all i've been carrying around this box and this bag see that that's just so tacky like no that's what i've been carrying around and everybody else has to i mean i'm not that i'm trying to be like everybody else but it's just so much more convenient and then everybody else do have to and i'm bottling in there with that you know so anyways i did buy it off amazon and i'm waiting for that to come it's not coming till next monday man so i gotta wait a whole week hopefully it comes earlier and when i get it i am gonna show y'all do a little unboxing i probably do an unboxing on snap too so if you follow me on snap then you probably seen it already because snap see everything first but I'm excited to get that. That way I can just have everything in a place. Oh, that's so cool. A motorized scooter and the dog is like, he walking the dog with a motorized scooter. I don't know how to explain it, but that just was cool. It's like a good way to walk your dog, but then you just chilling too. Cause he running, he getting his exercise and he's just chilling. But um, yeah, it's gonna be, let me get my food. I'm sitting here talking to y'all. Yeah, it's gonna be a good, um, a good way to like organize my, products my because i'm going to skin i'm doing nails and skin so it's gonna be a good way to organize everything like makeup my skincare products that i want to use on people my makeup products i want to use on people versus my practice stuff versus my nail stuff just everything in one good place so i'm so thankful i got to order that um what else do i want to teach say to y'all i should have put my sauce not my sauce my chili on here first but yeah i'm just making my breakfast i've been up i got in i don't know what, what time i got in last night you guys um i got off work nine at least like nine i got in about like 10 30 basically and last night i woke up 
about basically seven something this morning just because I wanted to clean house. I did my laundry. I actually got my laundry in the dryer right now. Um, took out the trash, white salt stuff, cleaned. Like Sundays are a clean day for me. Um, so that way tomorrow I want to go to the beach. Of course I'm going to bring y'all with me. I want to go to the beach because um, it's my off day from school and from work. So I wanted to get all the like chores done today and chill tomorrow. I'm gonna go grocery shopping at um, after I get off work because there is a Target and a Whole Foods literally two minutes <laughs> from where I work. Um, like I literally, I park in the parking garage and I literally just walk over there. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I was gonna try to grocery shop before work, but like I said, or I didn't even tell y'all what time it is, but it's going on almost 11. I gotta go to work in for, I gotta go to work for two, but I wanted to do some shopping. So it's better for us to like, if we want to get some stuff to come in before, especially if you close, cause like I close tonight. So it's going, it's just a hassle to try to do it at the end of the shift. So I'm definitely going to go in a little early, probably like for one, leave here at one have a little couple minutes to shop so that means i need to be getting ready like soon so that's why i'm like i'm not i'm not even gonna try to rush and go grocery shopping before i could just do that after work because i get off work at seven and whole foods on close to nine and target on close to um 10. so yeah that's my day for today you guys no school i um feel like i've been getting better with the stuff that i have been practicing um of course i just gotta keep practicing and then i'm buying this practice hand that i saw on youtube because i don't want to be i mean i will do people's nails but like for certain stuff like acrylic like certain things that i know i gotta get better i don't want to be putting on people's nails like i don't want to be doing that until like I, I got it down that's just me personally but i did do a, a pedicure a spa pedicure yesterday on a walk-in and i got tips so I am going to start taking walk-ins on like pedicures, manicures, just basic stuff. But when it comes to like acrylic sets, certain gel, if they want like design, certain stuff, I want to practice on the practice hand. So I'm going to order a practice hand soon, hopefully this week as well. That way I can keep getting better. And I just like nail class. I like nail. Um, I know I'm a love skin. I'm going to just thrive in skin. Like I know that already because... I already got products in my head that I'm gonna wanna, that I know I'm gonna wanna purchase to use on people. Like, I already got it. I'm thinking in my head already, like, when she was doing my facial, I'm thinking, okay, I will use this product, I will do it this way. Like, I'm obsessed with skin, so I know that. But I like nails because it's a challenge to me and it's something that I'm just starting off new, just like how when I started off with makeup and I feel like I can perfect and get it to a way where I can get somebody their results and find the best way that works for me. Like, like basically build my craft. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like art. Like when you're making a painting, like you know the end result, like in your head that you want. You're like, okay, I do this. Else you just find a good way to get the result that the client wants or what's in your head, the vision in your head. You find a good way to do that your way like there's not really a technical i mean with some stuff it's like a technical correct way but it's always a way around and that's like the beauty of it it's not like a definite thing like with skin it's definite it's like you have to use a cleanser first you have to do like it's like definite it's like okay i know i do this i know i do that but with nails it's like okay i want this result let's see how i can best get that result and it just it's a challenge and it makes my brain think and it really does bring out the creativity and the artist in me and that's what i like about it that's what i truly like about it i just need the supplies and the right products and everything and unfortunately they do not provide us with that so it's just going to take me time some girls have been practicing for a year some girls have been practicing for years and so they've had supplies built up meanwhile i'm starting from scratch so i'm not able to do as much so in class sometimes i just feel like i'm like i mean everybody goes at their own pace it's your own pace type of thing but i'm just not able to work on things that i necessarily want to because it's like oh i don't have that product yet 
and I'm not finna go in a bind trying to get all these things. And then another thing to rush myself in the process and start advancing, you know, and I haven't even got this skill off first, you know, like finished, perfected this skill to move on to this skill. And that's just what I'm doing for myself. It's a self-paced type of thing. Like, I love it. Some people might say they don't like the class, they don't like the teacher, or it's this, this. But for me, I love it just because it's self-paced and I'm already a disciplined, like, the way I think about things, how I want it to be done. Like, I'm very, like, for me, self-disciplined and I know what I want. I know what the outlook, the outcome, like, very visionary. So it works good for me because I don't need nobody to tell me, okay, this is how you got to do it. You need to do that. No, I can... I can figure it out because give me this blank canvas and tell me what you want. And if I can figure out the steps, research it, or even if I, she shows us demos in class, watch the demos and it's like, okay, I could do it this way, but then I could do it this way to make it faster. I don't know how to explain it to y'all. I'm sorry, but I love it. It makes sense in my head about, you know, especially when it comes to pleasing people. Like at the end of the day, a client doesn't care how you're going to get them their French tip acrylic full set like they don't care how you're gonna do it they just want that end result you know for us as a nail tech artist it's like okay you start thinking okay how do i want to go about this to get this look and then you figure out the way that works best for you and you just continue to do it i don't know if that makes sense but you build your own brand you build your own craft the way that you do stuff and you just continue it and you just build up on it and that's what i love about it so that's the spill on that everything's going great so good i'm actually going to be doing my makeup before i go in because i don't get to do my makeup everybody comes into work so cute and so dressed and everything and i come from class and i don't, I wake up at like 6 45 i'm not finna get up and do my makeup just for class be sitting there doing that wearing nails it's not even like wearing skin where i be can showcase my makeup to be doing people's makeup um anyway so I'm like, okay, today I don't go to class, so I'm gonna take advantage and do my makeup. So I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm probably gonna set y'all up. Y'all watch me do my makeup with me, speed it through. And then I am gonna be going grocery shopping later. I might do a haul and show y'all what I get from the grocery store, but I'm not taking y'all with me to the grocery store because I wanna enjoy it. It's like therapeutic for me, like grocery shopping sometimes. It's therapeutic for me. Um, but yeah, I feel good. My skin looks really good. I feel good. I'm about to eat my breakfast. That looks good. And yeah, I will see y'all when I get ready to do my makeup. What's up, you guys? I'm back. I did not. I'm I'm so sorry because I forgot to show y'all me doing my makeup. And then I forgot to show y'all my little fit before I went to work. Um, I told y'all I wasn't going to bring y'all with me um, grocery shopping or whatnot. But I do want to show y'all what I got from the grocery store. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, ignore this little, ignore this one lash hanging on. Like I told y'all, I did these lashes myself. And it's just, this one is hanging on by thread. So I'm going to have to remove it because it looks terrible. But let me do a little haul and show y'all what I got. Let me find a light. The lighting in here is like real, so, it's so ashy. It don't make no sense. Unless I have y'all up. I don't have nowhere up to put y'all. If I had somewhere up, that's some good lighting right there. That is, y'all, my curls turned out really cute. They turned out cute with my little, I just used Camille Rose um, something gel, curl maker, I think, gel. And I, last night I had put in Natural 88s. It's like melanin hair care. I put in that cream. And put my bonnet on and i just put water on it and then did that kind of like a refreshed wash and go had to refresh it you know when you have short hair it just don't want to stay i didn't change it felt so good to unsnap my bra like just let me show y'all what i got from the stove so first i got some fresh flowers to put in my faces because my other ones were dead completely dead I got these juices. I got this the other day while on break. No, not while on break. I got this the other day before going into work. I got the strawberry lemonade one. This one, pink lemonade. And it's so good. So I had to get some more. Cause normally I always like to get, like I get body armors, I get vitamin water. I don't know what you call them. Like little things that I call my juices. Cause I normally just drink my water. 
So I got that pink lemonade fl flavor. I got lemonade flavor. Um, cranberry and fruit punch. So I got these for lunch for the week. I got some avocados because I'm gonna make guacamole. Oops. Got three of them. My guacamole. I got these chips to go with my guac. The girl at the uh, register that run me up said that they are so good too. I got these off of a whim because, so I went to Whole Foods and I went to Target. So I got this stuff that I'm showing y'all now from Target. And I, I've i had the multi-grain ones um, before and they're good with like sauce or whatever, but y'all, I love jalapeno. Like I'm addicted to spice here recently. So I figured this would be good with some guacamole. I got some pears because they were on sale. They were cheaper than apples and I like to have a balanced diet. So I wasn't get apples, but these were on sale. So I said, why not? But I like pears and I haven't had pears since last year, I think, when they were in season. I got some raspberries, some ceviche salad. I love ceviche. So I got some of this to eat with my avocado, not avocado, my guacamole tomorrow. I got some turkey burger, not turkey burger. I got some black bean patties. There's four of them in here for lunch this week. Um, it says black bean quinoa veggie burgers, gluten free. Um, I haven't heard of this brand. This will be my first time trying it, but um, yeah, I wanted like some black bean burgers. I wish that they had, um, they, what's the name of that place? Smash burgers, backyard burger, something like that. I don't know, I used to, when I was on my travel time in close by Hernando, there was a place and it had this black bean uh, burger and it was so good. Um, so I hope that this tastes similar or is good at least. I don't know, we'll see, I'll let y'all know about this. That way if it's good, y'all can go get it from Whole Foods. I also got some Halo Top, Halo Top ice cream. I got the um, cookies and cream, but you can go look that up if you wanna know what it looked like. I got it in the freezer. I had to make some more stops and it was kind of thawing out. So I had to hurry up and put it in there, in the uh, freezer. Um, I got a lime. Oh, ignore my finger. This is just, everything's okay. Y'all know about my hand sealer. The one's cracked. This one's cracked um, open pretty bad. So I just want to keep it closed so it can heal on up. I got me a tomato for my guacamole, a lime for my guacamole. Um, some rom romaine lettuce, some asparagus. Cause with the asparagus, I'm gonna make some stuffed salmon tomorrow. The cilantro for the guacamole, the onion for the guacamole and the salmon. And that's all I got from Whole Foods. And from Target, I got this Brita filtering system because I've been buying essential water, which I really love their water. Don't get me wrong. That's one of my favorite. If I'm going to buy a water bottle, I'm going to grab that more than likely. Unless I just need a real cheap one, but it was starting to be expensive. Um, it, like my last one, I had got five and it came out to be like close to $10. And um, this was only $19 and it comes with a filter and I only have to change the filter out every two months. Um, and I'm just end up saving money. Like this $19, I got me a jug, this jug here. So I'm gonna just fill it up. This normally lasts me two days. I drink this whole thing. On a good day, I drink the whole thing on a good day. So, but the thing about this is I could just fill it up with the water and it's done. It has a filter system in it and I just pour it in here. So. I'm save money, saving the planet, using a reusable bottle. So, yeah, I got this from Target, Target. I got these little snacks, little healthy snack mix to go with my turkey burgers, just for uh, class, for lunch. And then I got this because it was on sale. I have one, I had the Kavita because my manager had recommended to get it. It was the 
something peach i think it was pineapple peach it was so good and then I, everybody's been saying to try this one so i know this is gonna be good because y'all love pineapple pineapple is like my favorite food pineapple and coconut um and i just got some parmesan cheese some unsalted butter and this cream cheese for my stuffed salmon that makes me cook the stuff salmon with y'all maybe i don't want to keep making promises and then not do it because i'm not trying to do it on purpose but tomorrow i don't have nothing to do so i'll probably end up picking the camera up a lot so yeah obviously these groceries are not going to last me too much too long because it's like pretty much produce i mean the snacks is all good but i mean i'll probably be in the grocery store next week again and kind of spent a lot i don't know i'm trying to understand what whole foods like did like what it was i don't really know because everything it just everything just totals out to be a lot really you know i mean but that's food for the week the whole week i might eat out next week i normally eat out like once a week like either fast food or um like restaurant food but yeah i mean it's not too too bad I'd be wishing I could spend like $50 a week. That would be so great. But, you know, quality stuff costs. And that's mainly the stuff that I'd be buying. And it costs and it don't last. But it'll make my body last. So that's what I'd be trying to think about. To just trash this whole bag. So, yeah, that's that. And now I'm about to fill up these vases. For my flowers. I have to open my bread tomorrow. Look how pretty. And fresh flowers, you know, brings in, you know, good carbon dioxide. It filters the air good. I need to get more plants. What I want to do is get some plants and like pot them. And then once they grow out, cut them and do the vase. So I think I'm going to do that next week or the week after next. That way I won't have to keep buying it by the bouquet. Maybe I should take some of the stems off. What do y'all think? Maybe. I love tulips. Tulips and gardenias are my favorite flowers. Like, I love them. I was gonna cut, like, not de-stem them. What's it called? Take some of the excess what should we call it? I'm gonna just see how they bloom first because they haven't even, not even ready to bloom. And then once I see how they bloom, then I'll do it. Cause it kind of looks funny in there right now. I do need to put away these dishes, but I'm tired. Cause I've been up, I did laundry, I did trash, I cleaned, went to work, did my makeup, did gro made groceries. It's time for me to rest. <laughs> Life is a balance, so do not forget, honeys, to do your do and then rest your boo. Like, rest your booty. <laughs> so, I just came up with that. I don't know what that was, but that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to put the, make these, make this bed, put these sheets, this clean linen on my bed, get me a glass of wine, eat mine, because I did get these two. I got two bags of these because I'm addicted to these. And I'm about to eat these bag of chips, drink some wine, and chill enjoy my alone no time to do anything so yeah i will see y'all tomorrow good morning y'all it is june 8th and it's 8 20 in the morning um sorry excuse me i'm getting ready to leave i'm literally pulling out of the driveway right now y'all oh my god I did not get any good sleep last night because my freaking ex was in my dream bothering me. Like, what the heck? I had to, like, wake up and pray, like, if it's my subconscious or whatever it is. Just, yeah, I had to. Oh, look how the sun hit. sun always hit good right here. I need to come and take a picture over here one day. But, yeah, I had to um pray, like, just give me peace I don't know like whatever it is that's bothering me or I don't, I don't know y'all but 
He's literally in my dream. Not gonna say which one, but bothering the hell out of me. <coughs> um, sorry, I did not bring y'all with me yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. It was my off day from school and work. My only off day from both. Um, I just enjoyed my day, honestly. I guess I'm becoming like a bad vlogger, but I don't. I wouldn't say I'm becoming a bad, bad vlogger. I would just say that I'm more busy. Like when I first got here and I was doing the vlogs for y'all, I wasn't doing much. I hadn't started school. I didn't have a job. And now it's just that I'm busy, you know? Ooh, the water's filled back up. It looks good. Uh, but yeah, I'm just more busy. So don't be mad at me, but I'm gonna have to just do a day in the life one day. That way y'all can see me wake up to go to sleep. Um, and get back used to it. Well, not get back used to it, but see my life, see my content, since y'all apparently like that a lot. But yeah, yesterday I, um, yesterday, what did I do? I have to think real quick. Yesterday, that's sad. My brain, y'all, I'm gonna end up having Alzheimer's. I kind of rebuked that, but <laughs> it was just yesterday. It was just yesterday and I can't even remember, but let me think for a minute. Okay, so yeah, yesterday, that Tesla does kind of look good. Uh, in the white, that does kind of look good. But anyway, yeah, yesterday I woke up and I had to go pick up my order from Ulta because when I worked Sunday, I bought just this little scar cream and some CeraVe, or CeraVe, how you pronounce it, moisturizing cream for my hands because my hands are still healing. And one of the girls was saying that the um, Derma E scar gel works really good because of the ingredients that's in it. So I got that. And then, of course, you know, CeraVe, uh, is, that cream is so moisturizing. It's so good. And I've been using A&D ointment, um, antibacterial ointment. And, of course, that works good. But realistically, with me using my hands and stuff, it's just too greasy. And it, like, gets everywhere. It gets on my phone. It gets in the house. It gets when I'm at school everywhere. So I figured that cream would just be better. So I had to go pick that up yesterday because I forgot it from Sunday. And then I actually bought this uh, lip gloss. This was only, this was on sale for $4. And then with my discount, it ended up being like $2. So I got that. Um, what else did I get? I got this um, makeup brush spray from Ulta, like from our brand. And it's just this spray that you spray on your brushes and on your makeup sponge for like a quick cleanse. You know, you're supposed to wash your makeup brushes after each use pretty much. Um, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> or, you know, if you buy enough brushes, but I still have brushes from when I bought years ago and I don't want to buy any uh, just yet. When I start doing makeup, of course I'll buy some more. Um, when I start doing makeup for people, that's what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, I bought that spray just for a quick little cleanse. That way I can just deep cleanse my brush brushes every two weeks. And that was only like $3.50. And then I bought um, I bought one other thing, but I can't think. Oh, I bought the First Aid Beauty KP Body Scrub. It's not a scrub, but it has, um, I think it has AHA, an AHA in it, uh, like glycolic acid maybe. Um, and it's just for your body and it's more of a gentle scrub for sensitive skin. It doesn't have the beads in it, but it still, of course, does the job. And it's for, uh, I forgot the name. I end up learning the name once I get in class. Kip Kiporosis. I don't know. Something, is, that's what they say, KP. It's like when you have the little bumps on your arms or on your legs. It's supposed to be um, sensitive enough to remove that without like abrasive scrubbing. So that was my little haul. I, I didn't get to show y'all, unfortunately the haul what I got I'm sorry I gotta be better and then I look at my cute little cup that my mom's friend Jennifer made me so this came in my package that my sister sent me Friday I got and she wrote me like a cute little note if I can remember I end up in certain footage I have it on my refrigerator um, and yeah my package came in with some stuff I'm gonna have to have them send me some more stuff because I just realized some of my perfumes and my makeup palettes I left for whatever reason. I guess in my head I'm thinking, okay, I'll be fine with that until October, but I'm like, I kind of want that for my palette because of course it's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to all of my LBGTQ community people. Um, and so this week I wanted to focus on like kind of getting out the box with my stuff. Um, so with my nails, my toes, and my makeup, I want to do some type of pride look. I was looking up on Pinterest last night, some ideas, just to get ideas, not to copy it. Um, 
but just to kind of get some ideas. So I'm gonna see what I can do. It's all fun, you know, it's, it's just fun. It's not like it's gonna be on somebody, it's gonna be on me. I'm gonna do my toes, I'm gonna do my toes in the rainbow. And then, cause unfortunately I can't do my hands. I would, but they're just still healing. And I saw this really cute design where they had like, on each corner they had like a color and that was really cute. I wish I could do it on my hands, but I have to do it once they heal. I don't wanna, and I was just gonna do regular polish, you know, but it's just, I don't know, I might, just to take away from the attention of the skin peeling. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes towards the end of the week. But I know for sure, today I'm gonna take off this gel polish on my toes and just paint my toes the rainbow. Um, my fake hand that I got, I ordered some press-on nails. My teacher was saying, showed me that, that was that's what works good for that. So I'm gonna just use that and then save up to order the real nice hand because I can't find a discount code for it and I'm not finna spend that money right now. <laughs> but I did order my suitcase. I don't know if I told y'all that or not. I ordered my beauty suitcase. Um, it's actually four layers. Most people have three, but I ordered the one with four because I'm gonna be doing nails, makeup, skin. And I want like all of my stuff for people to be able to fit in there. And then I want like a little section for me, like just that I use, you know, um, in there as well. So we're gonna see, I'm a definitely, unbox that with y'all and show y'all how I organize it or whatever. I definitely do that with y'all for sure. But yeah, y'all, it's just morning. I just got me some water and a little pear. These were on sale at Whole Foods, so I got it because I was going to get apples, but I haven't had a pear in a long time. They was on sale. And you know, eating healthy, you got to use the sales too. Yesterday, I went to the mall too. I, um, I went by Ulta. I went to the mall just to look around, see some stuff like maybe for my birthday that I could get or, you know, just manifesting, window shopping manifesting. That's what I call it. Cause it's like, you know, I can't get it right now, but I am going, I'm gonna be able to get it. So, you know, just looking like that. And then it, the mall's really nice, the International Mall here. So that was really fun. And it was a good exercise too. Cause I walked basically the whole mall in a sense, I skipped the middle on the bottom, but I went all the way across on the top, so it kind of made up for it. Um, and then I went to the river walk and just read my book. And actually, y'all, I lost my freaking AirPods out there, I believe. I either lost it out there or when I got back at the mail room at the RV camp. Um, I don't know, but I was so sad. I wanted to cry. Of course, I, my body wouldn't let me cry, but on the inside, I was like crying. Um, it's just so messed up because I've had them for so long and like I never have a problem with losing stuff but the way my little keychain is set up is flimsy and it always falls off but I'm able to see when it falls off and I just put it back on there but that's my fault because I should have just got another case for it or got another really yeah added another case on there to be more secure or just left it off of there but it's okay because I've had them for a while. I don't even think I bought those. I think that was a gift. It's, I've had them so long, I don't even remember if I bought them or if it was a gift. So that plus my uh, Apple Watch just stopped working. I don't know if, if my if it's my charger and my charger just needs to. I need a new charger. I'm gonna have to test that when my mom and them come. But if it don't work with their charger, then that means that that's done. So I need new AirPods and basically a new Apple Watch. Maybe I'll buy that from myself for Christmas or something. Cause, Lord, but I do have some earphones, just regular ones that I could plug in and use while I'm in class. Cause sometimes I like to zone out and like watch little nail videos when it's time to work and stuff. Cause it'd be so loud, everybody doing different things. And I'm so ADD, I'd be looking, looking, looking and not even focusing on what I'm doing. So that, that really made me upset. I was really sad about that. But then I made my meal. I went grocery shopping after work Sunday and I got a whole bunch of stuff. And I made stuffed creamy um, salmon with it had spinach, Parmesan and cream cheese in it. And asparagus and roasted red potatoes with Parmesan cheese on top. And on the side, I had shrimp ceviche and gu guacamole, y'all. That was the best meal I've ever made. And I made it all in the air fryer. Y'all know that I can't cook with the gas. I told y'all that in one of my vlogs. I can't cook on the stove or with the oven that's in there because the gas isn't on, uh, just by choice, my parents' choice. 
Um, so I use the air fryer, microwave, crock pot, egg cooker. Maybe I should probably get a rice cooker eventually because I can't. I haven't been eating rice or pasta unless it's out. But I mean, honestly, I don't need rice or pasta, so I probably won't do that. But yeah, it came out so good. I'm gonna insert a picture here, y'all. My soul was crying. It was so pretty. And then I went to the hookah shop too. Yesterday I went to a lot of places um, just to get out, enjoy my day off, you know, did some stuff that I want to do, some stuff that I needed plus wanted to do. And I went by the hookah shop because my um, I dropped my bowl. I don't even know the bowl that hold. Why well, keep holding this pair and not? <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I, um, mm, hold on, that's good. I dropped my bowl that holds the sheesh, so I had to go get another one. Um, that was only like $4.99. Then I got some incense and some more um, sheesh. <laughs> um, just to have, I might have to end up ordering some more charcoal. But I smoked, basically, I'm trying to tell y'all, I smoked my hookah after I ate and had a little wine. And then I ended up washing my hair. This is still a deep conditioner that's in it because tomorrow I'm going to style it for when I do my pride makeup. Um, I washed my hair and then did a face mask. Had a little bit of Halo Top ice cream. So, Yesterday was an all around amazing day. I thank the Lord for it because it was just good to like basically take myself out on a day and just enjoy some me time alone. Um, just, I felt replenished. I feel replenished this morning besides my dream. That dream has me shook. I'm just like, why? You know, you leave exes and leave people in the past for a reason. And then when they pop up, it's like, I rebuke you, Satan. I rebuke you. That's what it's like. Like, honestly, swear to God. But, um, yeah, y'all, this is going to be another amazing week. I work this week. Sorry, that's my old tag that keeps swinging. I, will, I work. Um, I'm off today from work, so I want to fix my bike because my bike has been down, and I don't want to gain any more weight. <laughs> so I need to fix my bike today. I'm definitely doing that after class. Um, I'm off from work today. I work Wednesday, Thursday. They don't have me on Friday truck shift. So Friday, maybe I'll go out to like a little bar or a hookah lounge. I want to see if they have like some type of karaoke thing, something fun that's like interactive, you know? That way it won't just look like I'm there alone. I'm kind of hesitant about going out so much, especially right now, just because I don't have anyone to go with. And I'm not a big like go out type of person. So like going out by myself kind of gives me a little anxiety a little bit like, it just makes me kind of nervous because it's just like, it's just me and I don't know. I'm just kind of paranoid. I don't know. And then it's a new city. Like, it's just a lot of things. Like, maybe if I was back home, but even back home, I wouldn't even go by myself. So I don't, I don't know how to explain to y'all. It's like I want to because I'm in a new city. It's so much to do, but to be gone by myself, you know, it's just kind of dead. But I am going to try to go again. Uh, I'm going to just see what I can find. If I don't end up finding nothing, then it's not a big deal. I won't go because I kind of don't need to spend, be spending the money anyway. But... Anyways, I'm off Friday, I work Saturday, and I think I am off Sunday. So Sunday will be my next full off day. And then my goal, it was kind of my goal at the end of um, last month, but definitely for this month, I want to find, um, I want to find another job, um, something that I can work like late shift, um, just so I can be more comfortable stuff with bills and like being able to go out and stuff and if I do it like with the time that I would normally be sleeping then I won't really miss anything especially if it's part time so but we'll see I, I'm putting it out there and it's into the atmosphere and manifesting it and just seeing what um, God has for me or what is supposed to be for me because um, sometimes we want things but that's not what's best for us and we don't really know that so I'ma just see, I'ma see, but that I am putting that out there. I am open to that. Um, there are so many places hiring, like when I first got the Ulta job, Forever 21, kind of, damn, why did you do that? 
Forever 21 kind of wanted to hire me too. But um, that just wasn't going to be able to work with my schedule because I don't want to do two jobs that basically I can only work for it or whatever. Like the next job again, I want to be able to it not interfere with Ulta. That's basically what I'm saying. Because what's the point of getting another job where, with the four to nine or four to ten schedule? That's already what I'm doing with Ulta. And then it might coincide the days. Like, what's the point type of thing? Um, I don't know if that makes sense. But that's just in my head. I want something that I can go to after Ulta. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, I want to be able to do both. Not like I got to switch it or it don't even make sense type of thing. Yeah, that's this week you guys I am gonna this will be the last week I think that I'm gonna do the moving vlog series and then from now on I might do like day in my life you know like I was telling y'all as a nail tech student as an institution student or just day in my life off day do something like that um just because I am getting more busy and I don't really have much I'm not picking up the camera as much so it just is what it is but yeah y'all have a blessed tuesday it's monday for me so y'all have a blessed week it feels weird like now being like in the beauty industry and like sundays and mondays being off days like my week be thrown off like by the time it's everybody's middle of the week it's still like the beginning of my week it's just so confusing and then yesterday like i was off completely and it's just like it's monday like it didn't feel right it's like i should be somewhere right but not really all right, y'all, I'm gonna get off here because I shouldn't really be. I mean, I'm looking at the road. I'm not even looking at y'all, but this traffic, be these folks. It's not bad. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. It could be worse, but they be zooming in and out. They just don't want to be patient because it's like the traffic isn't going anywhere. We all got to apparently go the same route to get to where we're going, and it's like it's not going nowhere. So you zoom in and out, it's not getting you far, but bless these people because they need they need the Lord just be patient it ain't that serious like if you leave in enough that's why I be leaving early like I do because if you leave in enough time you won't even be having to do all that because you do all that you get yourself hyped up you have anxiety you get everybody else on the road hyped up to maybe get there one minute two minutes faster maybe and you, if you late you already late so I don't understand I know I, I've learned like I don't speed no more I used to speed like crazy but I had got this ticket it was so high, I couldn't. I think I got it off, but I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to get it off. And that's when I was like, okay, I'm done speeding. And then as far as being late, I just started making myself get up like two hours ahead of time. Because it's just like, I don't want to be known to be the person that's being late. Especially something like, I be looking forward to getting up in the morning and going to school. And like, I look forward to going to Ulta too. So I just always make sure I leave in enough time. And it's been working so far, even with the traffic here. So that works. So if y'all having trouble getting anywhere wherever you at, whether you're staying in Mississippi still, like small town, or whether you're staying in a bigger city, just leave a little earlier. Like, make yourself wake up. Like, I be telling myself, I set my alarm 8.15. I don't have to be to school till 9. But, like, I want to give myself a good lapse of time to, like, leave. So I wake up at, like, 6.45. I mean, technically, I could wake up at, like, 7.30 and all that, but I don't want to be rushing. Like, that's my thing. I don't like to rush in the morning. I'm just waking up that's not good energy to me like i'm just waking up from like my body i'm not gonna get up and start doo -doo 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 -doo. i want to move on my own time so just gotta wake up a little early that's it and i need to wake up even early because i need to start doing yoga in the morning so we're gonna work on that that's gonna be one of my goals too because i need to start doing more you know especially if i get my bike fixed and i won't even worry about getting doing it in the morning i could just do it in the afternoon or nights like once i get off i could just do it all right, y'all, I'm gonna get off here because I'm literally driving, so. Oh, and the thing about my thumbs, I just got them wrapped because they're cracked open uh, more than this. Like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a crack in my skin. Um, so I just don't want anything to get in them. So I just put a uh, cotton ball and like some medical tape around it. Just while I'm at school, I don't do it at home, but just while I'm out doing stuff because I don't want it to crack on And then I want the ointment to try to penetrate it so it can close up. Yeah, that's that y'all have a blessed week a blessed day i will see y'all later in the week sometime when i get my little suitcase i don't know what this guy is doing he got his signal on and it's just going so slow but yeah when i get my beauty suitcase in i will show y'all that and then if there's anything else i just pop back on and show y'all something
or if I got a red, gotta tell y'all so I'll be back. It's not over just yet, so keep watching. Keep watching, girl. All right, bye. What's up, y'all? I'm looking extra crazy. I'm coming to you crusted and disgusted. <laughs> nah, but for real. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's your clown, girl. Let me stop. What the fuck? What? Ah, I just got off work. I did my makeup for pride appreciation let me put the scissors away from my eyes why am i holding scissors by my face i know why anyways i was getting on here real quick i got off work been to class i did my makeup for work well i don't have on no face makeup i just did my eyes to, to be you know prideful and all that anyways i just got my package i told y'all i was gonna unbox it with y'all so that's what i'm gonna do because y'all deserve that because i've been a bad vlogger let me put the scissors down that is very unsafe do not do that at home don't hold scissors and talk just don't do it anyways so i'm gonna unbox this with y'all this is my beauty suitcase that i ordered off amazon the brand the name is right here yeah tech i don't know just look up beauty suitcases and this is like the best seller on amazon where's the good lighting um i mean here's some decent no pretty much i'm gonna have to prop y'all up basically i'm gonna have to do this fast i'm just gonna uh unbox it right now with y'all it's just an unboxing because um my phone is on like less than 10 like somewhere between 20 and 10 percent so I need to get it back on the charger, but I promised y'all I was going to show y'all when I got it. So I got it. I'm going to show y'all how I organize it and everything once I actually organize it. But here we go. Look at my tags. You can see my tags good. Drum. I should be doing that and I'm in the RV. Literally not stay. I mean, I'm stabilized, but I shouldn't be trying to shake it. Hopefully if my dad's watching this, he don't come for me. Because I did not do that that long. Oh, I ain't got no nails. There you go. This package is sturdy. I'm so excited. I need this so bad. Let me show y'all what I've been carrying first off. To, to show y'all that I, this $100 is well needed and well deserved. Because I've been getting better every time I practice. Today I did some good designs. I will show y'all, but I, I guess I could show y'all if I could find the nails real quick. Um, this is the box that I've been carrying. I've literally been carrying this to school like this. Hold on, hold on. With this on top and my backpack like this. So this is how I've been going into class every morning. Somebody has to hold the door and it just feels so bummy. Like, look at this. It's not okay, and I honestly, when I toured the school, I thought that this was gonna come with the kit, the $500 kit that they give us. I told y'all about that kit, right? Like, no, it's not okay to be doing this. So that was the first investment, the big girl investment I did for my business, like for myself, for my brand, was bought this beautiful beauty suitcase. So trash this, all this is a boner, and I'm gonna put everything I have in here in my beauty suitcase. Plus everything um, that else that I've been buying, I still been buying more stuff. Like it's really an investment, honestly. Um, anyways, I'm not gonna talk about that, but uh, yeah, I wanna see it. We're not gonna talk about all that right now. And I'll show y'all how it's organized tomorrow. It's so pretty! I'm so green, like. This is what I'm happy about. This makes up for losing my AirPods. Like, even though I gotta buy some more. Any more money. And it comes already built. Awesome sauce. So this is it, you guys. I'm trying to hold it off. It's four organizer um, roller. So it has four compartments. Let me see, I'm gonna move y'all down. One, so y'all can see. One more. There we go. Let's see if we can take the wheels off. And the good thing about this too is that I'm gonna take that garbage off. 
Oh, I gotta add the wheels on. Um, the good thing about this is that it's heat, heat safe. So that was very unsafe to be having like all those chemicals and everything in that box. And then with the sun and everything, this is supposed to be a protected for it. So it said something on Amazon like, um, the outside temp would be like 100 degrees, but the inside temp of this would be like 60 something. Like, it's really a good investment if you are a nail tech, a makeup artist, an esthetician. Shoot, if you just are an artist and you need somewhere to hold your stuff, that you have chemicals and products, like, this is a great idea. It smells brand new. Nobody's used it. It actually has a funny smell to it. I'm going to flip y'all to show y'all. Okay, hold on. So this is it. And when you open it, um, these little pockets come out. Y'all, I just feel so like a big girl. Like, I'm really doing this. Like, it's no turning back. You don't just buy big purchases like this to not go through with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is legit. So then I'm supposed to be able to, now y'all bear with me because y'all know this is my first time getting it, but where are the locks to unlatch it? Maybe over here. I don't know, maybe I should read the instructions, but I've been watching the girls do it in class and it should just unlatch. Cause this is supposed to come off. Oh, I was trying to unlatch the wrong thing, I guess. The latches are on the side. Sorry, this is like bad angles. I'm not able to properly pull it up. Okay, so then you unlatch it like that. And you have these compartments inside. And they come apart so I could like put like my gel polishes and everything in it. And then you do it again. Flip it. And you do it again. It's another compartment. And then you flip it again, and flip it again, and it's the last compartment. So that is pretty much it. I mean, it don't seem like a lot of space, but it's gonna work for now. Like, I'm gonna make it work. And I'm missing, how am I able, because I know it's not that deep, hold on. Oh, I didn't even show y'all in here. So in here is like a whole bunch of space too. So that's where that part comes from. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, this is my beauty suitcase. And I will show y'all tomorrow when it's all organized. So see y'all tomorrow. Oh, and look at my pride toes. Aren't they cute? Happy Pride Month, everyone. Oh, 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 oh,